Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue. Come away, my room is a mess, it could use a hand. My favorite TV shows are capturing. I know I must get it right, I must get back in the fight. This can't be a surprise. Hey, welcome back to my channel. So, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. I am beginning my spring cleaning annual reset for 2024. And I thought I would just bring you guys along with me. It's something that I do every single year. And it's something that um, is a big focus right now for me for home, like home wise. And I thought I would just bring you guys along. So we're going to start with cleaning my bedroom, um, but I'm going to be doing the entire house and I will do like kind of like a little cleaning, spring cleaning, reset, decluttering uh, mini series, if you will, um, here on my channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe um, if this seems interesting to you and you want to see more. So the products that I'm using um for the most part, are going to be from Jaws, J-A-W-S. Um, on my dresser, I'm using the pink spray bottle, and that's just the multi-purpose cleaner, and I love it. I use it on most surfaces of my home. Um, uh, it doesn't have like an overwhelming like chemical smell. It's very mild. It does smell really good, but it's not like super like obvious. Um, and I love the idea behind Jaws. So for starters, the bottles themselves are like reusable. So it's environmentally friendly and that we don't have to throw away a bottle, have that plastic end up in a landfill somewhere and take thousands of years to, um, you know, degrade. Um, this one, you just purchase new inserts, like those little tubes, you stick them inside the bottle and those are filled with the solution. You shake it up with the water and then you're good to start spraying and cleaning um, your home. I'm also using microfiber cloths. I use them um, for all of my cleaning, my cleaning in my home. Um, I just find that it's just better. It's better for the environment. I'm not using tons of paper towels. I can just use these and then just clean them when I'm done. But you'll see in the video that I do use them quite a bit. <laughs> I don't just use it for like one surface and move on to the next one and switch it out. I, I use it literally until it's like soaking wet. Um, and then in here, I'm just using the Jaws glass cleaner. I will say it's an okay cleaner. I've used better cleaners in the past, but it, I mean, this one, it does its job. I'm showing you pictures of my family. I never showed my kids. I've referenced them in a few of my videos, just never showed them on camera because I figured this whole YouTube thing is something that I do for myself. It must get back in the fight. This can't be a surprise. I think I'll let it slide I'm sleepwalking through All of my problems and no, I can't make it through Every night is the same I keep running fast Left and right Wondering where my head's gone now I'm sleepwalking through All of my problems and no. dusting like a mad woman so my room is so or was so dusty and i hadn't considered the amount of dust accumulation i keep my windows open to let you know to air out my rooms especially my bedroom because i find um that my sheets and things it just needs to be aired out right like we sleep in them we sweat in them and i like to keep my windows open to just air them out as much as i possibly can but my house is also wall to wall carpeting and just carpets alone accumulate a lot of dust but i hadn't really considered how much dust was in my bedroom like on everything and um i don't know what do you guys do to help mitigate or 
decrease the amount of dust in your home. I know that some of it just can't be helped, but if there's anything that you guys do, um, if there's like equipment or like machinery, like, I don't know, like air purifiers you guys use, or even like simple household cleaners, um, concoctions that you might put together on your own, please let me know in the comments. Um, because I definitely need to start researching and looking into how to decrease the amount of dust in my home. Obviously, dusting helps. I don't dust every single time I clean. I do dust when I deep clean, much like today. Um, but dusting just isn't something I do every single day when I clean my home. What you do The solution I'm using here is from Grove. It's um, much like the Jaws system. So I buy the little bottles of cleaner from Target and I mix it in with some water in that glass spray bottle and I just mix it all up. It's the lavender scent. It smells really nice. It's not a chemical smell at all. It's a very soft scent and it works really, really well. Um, so between this multi-purpose cleaner and then the Jaws multi-purpose cleaner, I use those both um, literally on almost every single surface of my home. You set my wheels in motion I'm going crazy for you I feel like the ocean I can see you want this too Cause you've been looking at me all night Trying to figure me out I just want to let you know purchased this desk when I redid my whole room. So I redid my entire bedroom. I got a lot of the new furniture. All the furniture here really is pretty new aside from that dresser I was just cleaning. But everything else is about three months old. And then I think my desk, I got that maybe like six months ago, eight months ago. Um, but the reason is because I 
have a hybrid schedule for my nine to five. I work from home most days, and then I'm also a part-time student. I am majoring in environmental science, um, so I do a lot of work on my computer, on my at my desk, and um, having it in my room. I needed it to be something that I loved, and I didn't mind looking at. So, um, I'm really pleased with the outcome of my work area, my little office area in my bedroom. Never met someone like you, uh, felt something like your touch I wish we would've met tonight Sure I've had lovers in my past, won't lie I've had a blast But none of them had your humor They can't compare, no one could ever do Nobody's close to you, yeah One night's not fair, what can I say? This um, this unit that I'm cleaning out, the drawers, are from Ikea. My whole desk thing, my whole desk makeup, all the furniture for my desk is from Ikea. Um, and these two drawers are side tables. And But I found that the measurements, it fits perfectly underneath like the L part of my desk, my L-shaped desk. Um, and so I purchased this to stick my sticker books in there. So you saw me flipping through it. This is where I keep all of my planning things. And I think I'm flipping through my my planner here to show you how I use my stickers and my personal like weekly layout. But I have been planning like this for about eight years. It is a hobby of mine. I love it. Those binders are full of stickers. Um, I made most of them. And if I didn't, I purchased them, um, some of them from like Etsy shops or from plannerkate.com. I can leave that link for you down below. But um, it's just a hobby of mine, something I've been doing for a very long time, and I love it. It's just a fun way to plan and keep myself organized and uh, on a schedule. No one could ever do, nobody's close to you, yeah. One night's not fair, what can I say to make you never leave this room? Like my desk, like the material, the desk and everything is made out of is like compressed wood. Um, and I find that if I dust it off before I wipe it down with the Clorox wipe, it does help. Um, and you're going to see, I'm actually wiping it down with the Clorox wipe, but I'm going to go over it um, with a paper towel because I don't want that moisture from the Clorox wipe to like sit in on the compressed wood material because it'll start to bubble or like peel. So I typically just wipe it down with a Clorox wipe, get it nice and clean and lathered, and then I'll go back with a, um, a paper towel and just kind of try to wipe up all of that um, like liquid.
I am spring cleaning, but I can tell you it definitely doesn't feel like spring right now. I live in Massachusetts and this is more like the end of winter type of um, weather. You can see outside of that window that we still don't have like leaves on our trees. We surely don't have any flowers blooming just yet. The weather in my area will start to warm up. I want to say like mid-April to early May. But then again, in New England, like we've had snow. We've had it snow in April. So I will say that we had a very mild winter. So we didn't have a lot of snow that stuck. Um, and if it did, it was only a couple of inches. We've probably had a couple of school cancellations. I know a few of them were like false alarms. It was supposed to snow, but it never did. Um, so we had a very, very mild winter, I have to say. We took out the snowblower maybe once. Um, typically in Boston, like in Massachusetts, when it snows, you get a lot of snow. I know it's not the same for like New Hampshire and Maine. They probably get more snow than we do because they're more north. But down here, um, we had a very mild winter. So no complaints from me. For the first time in ages, I wake up and don't hate it. I guess I found some peace. Through the day to the evening, without shouting and screaming, something new to me. This window is, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I love her, but then at the same time, I'm like, ooh, girl. So I sit right underneath it, and at, like, peak day, the sun is, like, highest in the sky, and it is in my face, and that's why I had that paper taped to the window. <laughs> I think I had a, a WebEx meeting very last minute, and the sun was just, like, booming in my face. So I, like, quick, a quick fix, I just put paper together and taped it on the window. boy this is Cece he's a year old he's the sweetest boy ever so a little backstory on our Cece boy um we got him when he was three months old his previous owner um suffered from mental health and adopted him as like a companion but realized she couldn't take care of him so did what's best for him and um looked for a family who could take care of him and we saw him through a friend and um took him home so his previous owner said it was a girl and named her cecilia so cc is actually short for cecilia or was short for cecilia um we took cc home and a couple months later cc was doing some inappropriate things with our other female cat <laughs> cookie and um i don't know what made me look but i looked and you know googled the anatomy of a cat and realized cc is actually a boy or male so uh we changed we kept cc the nickname but changed the name to cecil <laughs> <laughs> so CC is now short for Cecil, but the kids and everybody still calls him CC. Um, I guess his government name just changed to Cecil. So we have a Cecil now. This bed is 
first of all, I love my bed, right? I, it's my favorite color. I absolutely love it. I had my eye on this bed for the longest time. I finally saw that it went on like sale at Ikea and I had to just, I had to get it the very next day I was at Ikea purchasing this bed. I love it. This mattress, however, I can't with it. And I kid you not, every single time I make my bed, it's like I almost break, it's so heavy. I almost break a nail. Um, you'll see here that I've actually lost some jewelry, like messing with it because it's just so heavy and like stiff. It's very uncomfortable. So I'm definitely in the market for a new mattress. I just haven't been able to I guess, apply myself and do the research to finding a good one. So if anyone has any recommendations on mattresses, please let me know. I'm really sorry guys, but I didn't realize my pillows were so off-centered until just now. So if that's going to bother you, I apologize. Just skip forward. <laughs> but um, I mentioned earlier that I just redid my bedroom and I have to give a big shout out to, first of all, my mom, because she just has a really good eye for these types of things. Um, but also my friend Kaylee and she really helped. So Kaylee and my mother both are just like, I don't know, made to decorate. I'm just not good at it. I try and then I get overwhelmed and there's so many options between textures and patterns and I don't, I just can't. So before I even get ahead of myself, I just I just quit while I'm ahead. And I have to say, my friend Kaylee has been really, really helpful with helping me redecorate my bedroom. So one of the things my friend Kaylee who said to me was to lift the curtains behind my bed because they're too low. So if you lift them higher, you'll have like, you know, your eye will go up more, it creates a, an illusion of a bigger space. And Lady, I'm really sorry. I will do it. I just haven't done it yet. But that's really great advice. I appreciate your advice. Please don't stop giving it to me. But it just hasn't been done yet. It'll get done. done my laundry in about six, seven years, if I'm being completely honest. I mean, I put it away. Of course, you see me here like refolding it and putting it away. Um, but I haven't done like physically cleaned and folded my like laundry um, in a very, very long time. Quan, my kid's dad actually does our laundry and he's just really great in that he helps out um, around the house with house chores. So he takes it upon himself to help out with um, doing the laundry. You see me here refolding it. And that's just honestly because I have to fold my clothes a certain way to get them to fit in my drawers. Um, so I'm not going to complain on how he folds them. 
I don't, you know, he, at least he is washing and (laughs) bringing them upstairs for me. So I am appreciative. I am not going to complain. You know, he doesn't have to do my laundry. He does it. um, And so I appreciate it. And I'm not going to (laughs) complain. I'm sitting here watching this video again and I'm like, I have a whole drawer full of sweatpants. That is insane. So I remember like when I was like, you know, working in person, like hundred percent working in person full time, I had way more like work clothes than I did leisurely clothes. And now it's definitely changed. Like that whole drawer there is full of my sweaters and this drawer is full of like sweatsuit sets. Um, so I have way more leisurely clothes than I do like work clothes. Um, and also a big part of that is because I had my youngest son, um, almost two, well, yeah, almost three years ago. He'll be three in May. Um, and I just haven't lost the weight. Um, again, I'm, I'm not back to my pre-pregnancy size and that's okay. That's not something that's like a focus of mine. Um, I'm healthy and, you know, I'm a mom. I have a very busy schedule. Um, so it's just, it's just not a focus of mine yet. You know, it's not in my heart yet (laughs) to work out and get fit. Um, I'm just trying to make it by (laughs) y'all. Um, but yeah, so I don't fit in my pre-pregnancy clothes. And a lot of those clothes were my office clothes, like my business, um, my business casual or like business formal clothes. Um, so I had like a lot of uh, suits and slacks and blazers. And now I have like a lot of sweatshirts and sweatpants apparently. So silly me thinking you and her could work things out. I'm a third wheel on this broken car. So hard to be real, speak the truth Say you're sorry, hear her out You're too proud, like a child Going into these hard to reach, like divots of my window with my Bissell steam shot. I will say it made a huge mess. It sprayed mud all over the place. It it cleaned it out, but it made a big mess at the same time. But whatever. Um, it got the job done, I guess. Um, just keep in mind that if you are using this, if you want to use something like this, it does a really great job with breaking up like buildup like this, right? Like the mud, or even if you have like a buildup of just product, but I tried to clean my kitchen, like my stove with it. And I had this, it like, it doesn't do the best job at lifting up the grease, um, like it'll break up some of it, like the packed on food a little bit, I guess, but it doesn't do a really great job at like relieving, you know, all the grease build up in your stove. Um, but it did a re- really great job here. Aside from like spraying the mud all over the place, it took out all of the build up. I don't typically clean um, this part of my window, as you can see, um, but because we're deep cleaning today, it was something that I felt like I needed to just get rid of. But you know,
What I don't show is that I actually cleaned all the baseboards of my bedroom, um, but that's, it's, it was a lot. <laughs> I wasn't going to film the whole thing, um, but I did clean the, all of the walls and the baseboards of my bedroom. Um, and what I noticed when I was doing that is that my, so our house we live in is rented. We rent it um, and it's very, very old. So we live in Massachusetts. A lot of the homes here are old, right? So it is a very old house. Like the bones of the house are very, very, very old. This land is very old. So I just feel like it was like a quick fix. Like when we moved in, like they didn't really apply themselves to upgrade anything. <laughs> they kind of just like painted over everything. Um, because some of the walls, like as I was cleaning them, like were bouncing back like the drywall. So it obviously wasn't right. Like installed correctly or very well, um, that it was just all bouncing back. And then the floors, because this house is so old, the floors are super uneven. Um, so you'll see as I'm vacuuming, the carpet has like wrinkles in it. Um, and it could be a mix of a couple of things. One bad installation, two cheap materials, and three just like old flooring, I guess, and no one's ever thought to upgrade it. And, you know, I hate to complain. I'm very fortunate and very, you know, lucky that we live in the area that we live in. But for the amount of rent that we pay, especially living in Boston, it's not very cheap. Never will if you don't. my two-year-old came in the room and I didn't see him come in. So he scared me. And then when I jumped, I scared him. So that's what you just saw there. I actually had like the vacuum going and the music going on my computer. So um, I didn't hear him come in. And then all of a sudden I turned around and he's right there. So like I jumped and screamed and scared him too. It was really cute. <laughs> That's what happens when you have little kids. Like they show up just like in the most random spots at the most random times. They catch you off guard sometimes. Too proud to work it out. You think time will tell and sort things out. That was my eight-year-old Parker. He wanted to say hi, but then I think he got sidetracked 
with um, watching himself in the camera. So <laughs> he just stood there staring at himself, making faces. You're so cute. So that is it, my friends. That is the entire clean with me. My room is nice and fresh. It's reset. It feels so good to have a clean area. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And as always, you guys, I will see you in my next video. Come a little closer. I want to dance with you. Everything's moving slower.